Hey guys, it's CSBN001 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Rocket Power Beach Bandits. Last time we had a massive, super, ultra epic, terrible series of fails on the robot obstacle course that I usually don't have. I don't really feel like fighting them. But we got our awesome robot suit, and we are just tearing crap up. Nothing stands a chance. Plus, we got our first ever high explosive puck. So you have zap pucks, high explosive pucks, bouncy pucks, multi-shot pucks, space pucks, all various, all my own names. Even if I don't know if they're right or not. Okay, let's kill this one. There's one behind me. It sounds like there's one behind me. Okay, he's way back there, never mind. Okay, uh, before you go up to Cryax there, I believe is his name, before you go up to him, shoot these doors over here with your goo and break them open. I'm not actually sure if you can break that open using pucks, so if someone would like to tell me that would be great, but I'm not exactly sure. So, because if you can, this is going to be your last opportunity to get them. You can probably guess why. I don't think Cryax is going to keep letting us walk around in this robot suit, especially when we've killed all of his so many of his minions, and I know the quality probably sucks in here because it's so dark. Not good. What is he doing? That is not good. That is very not good. So our robot gets completely toasted. Sam manages to survive, luckily. I am afraid I cannot allow you to go any further. Just watch me. There isn't a computer on Earth that can resist my programming skills. We shall see. If that's true, then we need you uh, fighting against the Taliban right about now. Oh, Sam. Probably sealed his memory core. We'll have to go and try to shut down the factory some other way to make sure he does. I've got to take some pictures for Officer Shirley, too. We should. Yeah. Look. All right. All right. It's time to go get some evidence for Twister, so I'll get to show off the super high explosive pucks. R&D Labs. Let's go. So we gotta, hopefully in this part, part 10, we can complete Wishing Waters, which would be great for progress. Okay, Twister, let's go. So we gotta find four photos again, just like before. Uh, let's start out by taking a picture of this. Wait. It says, I know it's grand opening, but what does that look like to you guys? That looks very close to being, oh, that looks very close to being something that should not be spelled in a nickel game. I know, my, I have a sick mind, but it's still true. You know, in the start of my Black Ops 2 project, there's something that I really gotta say that was hilarious that happened to me on a uh, Young Life trip, a retreat. It was probably one of the funniest, uh, most sort of awesome things that's ever happened. Oh god, I can't wait to tell you guys about that, even though at the time this is being recorded, it's still probably... Black Ops 2 doesn't come out for like 29 more days, I don't think. So observe. Instant kill to anything around it, and we now have 51 of these special pucks. Oh, wait, don't want to forget this picture. Uh, step out on the viewing platform here where we have a better picture of it. I'm not exactly sure how that's evidence. Yeah, that's going to be fun to tell you guys, even though it's going to be like a month after it actually happened. It's still really funny. And I'm, the reason I'm going to do it in Black Ops 2 is because I know that's going to be viewed a lot more than this has been because... This has been pretty highly rated, and I can tell you guys, you guys seem to like it, which I'm glad about, but I, I knew it wasn't going to be that highly viewed because the game came out almost 10 years ago. Robots, something that I should, probably should have mentioned a while back is that immediately upon spawn, robots have, like, a way higher defense or health or something. So just kind of keep that in mind. I mean, I probably should have said that before. Oh, headshot! And a lot of pucks. So if you come back here, you got a gold coin and attack in the power of Juju calendar. 
or attack calendar. I'm not sure. I don't think it actually has like a date circled of whatever the release date of this game was. As far as I can tell, it doesn't. I'm just that would have been kind of cool if they had done that though. That would have been just a cool little secret. Okay, what you want to do is turn on this projector here. And back there, there's a hamburger if you need it, but there's nothing special in the back of those. There's going to be a robot down here that we're going to have to kill. It actually killed me once on my like very first run of this game. You guys should have seen how, how terrible my first run of this game was. It was one of the worst things I've ever seen. Did we just, like, become Canadian? Eh? Eh, bro? Eh? I don't know. I'm, I'm not racist. I'm not trying to be racist. Especially considering I know T-Box lives up in Canada. Or at least I think he does. Okay, we're just going to jump down and take a little bit of damage. Two bars, that's okay. Yeah, I'm not a racist. I mean, Canada's awesome. They are a huge country and they have lots of open, natural land. Be probably a very good place to live if you're just trying to sort of live off the land. Now that right there, that green robot right there, that is basically a hit to a type of enemy that we're going to be fighting in the in Mondo Mountain, which is, as we just saw there, is the third area of the game. They are the probably the most devastating type of enemy in the game. Or one, the most devastating type of enemy that's fought more than twice. So just keep that in mind. That's a really long fall. I'm not actually, actually 